Hi guys, Mary Poppin here with Imagineer Systems and Boris FX, and I'm going to be showing you how to do some sky replacements using the BCC10 tools and Mocha Pro the plugin. The sky plates I'm going to be showing you today are courtesy of Artbeats. So sometimes all you need is a real life sky for your project. Time lapse clouds are fun and interesting, but not always practical for plates and backgrounds, especially if the motion in your foreground elements are in real time. Artbeats has an answer to this problem in sky plates. 20 real time, wide angle skies, all unobstructed with a distant flat horizon at the bottom. For a limited time, you can receive 4K sky plates free with any Artbeats Express subscription plan. Now this footage is courtesy of one of our users, Chris Heuer, who is a great VFX artist. And we're going to be replacing the sky in here with one of these 20 Artbeat skies. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take this sky out of our footage. So we're going to go to our effects and we're going to go to BCC Pixel Chooser. Now this is available inside of the BCC 10 tools and we're going to be showing you how that pairs with Mocha inside of the BCC tools to get better results. We're going to grab our Pixel Chooser we're going to drag and drop it right onto our timeline. We're going to select a stencil alpha and we're going to select mocha to just do a quick mask of the sky. Now it gives you this warning, this host is not set to full resolution, tracking at reduced resolution can be faster but is less accurate. We're going to continue anyway because we don't need high res mats for this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn off this thumbnail view right here. And then I'm going to select my X-spline and I'm going to draw a mask around my ground plane. Now because there's not a lot of tracking that needs to be done for this on the ground, I'm just going to go ahead and correct this at the beginning and end of the shot because the ground st stays relatively in the same place. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my house. So we're going to call this ground and we're going to track the top of the house just like this using our X-spline once again, we're going to make another shape for the secondary part of the house and we're going to pull the corners tight. We're going to call this left house roof and we're going to call this right house roof and we're going to track backwards. From here we correct any roto that we need to correct. All right, so that looks good. So we're going to go ahead and save this and close it. And so now our bottom part is masked out, but we need to get rid of our sky. Now we can invert our mask and we can start to pull out our trees. Let's go to channel key. We're going to use the eyedropper tool to pull our tree colors. Let's invert our mask. And because we selected our tree color in our color A and color B, you can see that the trees are masked out. Now I can start to do some compositing. Let's take our house and move it into a layer above and let's select a sky to drop in behind this. I kind of like this sky. So let's trim it and drop it below our footage. Now I have a sky composited in the background of my shot. But what if I want my sky to move along with my background? That's actually really easy. I need to set my host to full resolution so that I can get a good track. And then inside of my pixel chooser, I'm simply going to launch Mocha. Now once I have launched Mocha, I can actually track the motion of this sky. So let's just grab a really meaty part of these clouds. We're going to turn our surface tool on. We're going to track translation scale rotation. Once our track is complete of our sky motion, we can align the surface to the full frame at the first frame of this footage. From here I can export my tracking data. We're going to do a BCC corner pin and I'm going to save this. Now I can simply hide my layer. We're going to call this sky track. We're going to save this and close it. And it doesn't affect my mask. For my sky, I select my sky layer. I go to my effects browser and I select BCC corner pin. I take my BCC corner pin, I drag and drop it onto my sky background. Our background is going to be none and our corner pin source is going to be video two. Inside of our motion tracker, I'm going to load my BCC corner pin and you can see it's going to try to put it up here in the corner because of mismatched resolutions. We're not going to worry about that though because what we're going to do is we're going to actually increase our scale. So inside of scale and offset, I'm going to scale this by 300 and in my offset Y, I'm going to increase my offset. Once I've selected my offset, I'm done. So here's our before 
and here's our after. If I totally want to change the look of my footage, I can go to BCC Fast Film Process, and I can drag and drop that right onto my front layer. Now we can go to our effects browser and select a preset that I feel like will go with this background sky. We can apply that to our footage, and we can even apply it on our background sky to match. This same technique can be used in After Effects as well as Premiere with the Mocha Pro plugin. If we take our original file and we go to our BCC Pixel Chooser, we can drag and drop that right onto our footage. And I want to point out that we can take our Mocha from Premiere, and we can go to File, Export Project, save our project, and then in Mocha, launch Mocha inside of After Effects, inside of the BCC 10 tools. And we can go to File, Merge Project, and our shapes are right here for us. So save and close. Stencil Alpha. And we can use the same settings that we used inside of Premiere. From here we can find any cloud we want to put in the background. Let's bring this one in. We can take the sky, drop it underneath. Then I can take my original footage and drop it in the middle. I'm going to take Mocha Pro and drop it right onto my original footage. We're going to launch Mocha Pro and I'm going to track this sky here. Once I have tracked my sky, I'm going to turn my surface tool on. I'm going to align my surface. I can then go to Insert Clip, and I'm going to actually do an Insert Layer. I'm going to hit Save and Close. Inside of my Module Renders, I'm going to render an Insert Composite using my Sky Layer. Now my sky is replaced inside of my shot, without a whole lot of work. So as you can see, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And while Mocha for After Effects is bundled inside of Adobe AECC, in this video we're just going to show you how to use the upcoming Mocha V5 plugin because it's more full featured. But if you want to find how to track in Mocha AE inside of your version of After Effects, you can go to Animation, Track in Mocha AE. And this technique can be used the same inside of After Effects or inside of Premiere. In this tutorial we showed you how you could do it in both. There are so many looks that can be achieved using this very same technique. Sky replacements are easy, and mixing up the look is as simple as a few keystrokes. Get your hands on the BCC 10 tools today, and take your edits to the next level. I am Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and if you have any questions, I'm happy to help.